Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I was very, very lucky and won a free spot on the Badass Art Journaling course for this year, 2023. It started on the 6th of February um, and uh, I feel very, very lucky to won a place. I love doing online art uh, courses. You just learn such a lot from them and and they're such good value for money. I just personally couldn't justify spending it um, this year but I'm very excited and I've not tried bad is one that I've not tried before the host hostess is uh, Tiara Smith I've done some lessons with her before and it was Kat Hamilton whose giveaway I won I think every teacher gave away a, a, a free place and I was lucky to win Kat's, Kat's work is brilliant I follow her on Instagram as well I'll leave links to her and um, to Badass let's just have a quick look a minute little bit of an idea of um, of what to expect um, one badass art journal so 16 instructors 17 mixed media lessons one badass art journal <laughs> and you've got lifetime access so um, you know I can go at my own pace because sometimes life gets in the way sometimes I'm just a slow worker sometimes I just get into one particular lesson and want to do it two or three times and explore it before I move on so uh, yeah um, all different kinds of mixed media techniques um, here's a quick glimpse at the teachers I'm just going to whiz through some I've had lessons with before and some there's Kat who, who's free place I won um, some of them I've not um, Amanda I think she's English I think I've done a class with her yeah London born artist I've done a class with her before Kim Della lots of these I've, I've worked on their classes before I don't recognise Rochelle mixed media collage and assemblage Kyla, I've definitely done classes with her. Rachel Kentish, I don't recognise her. Tracy finds that for, I don't know if that's how you say it, but yes, I've done classes with her. And there's Tiara, um, who's the, the host, the overall host of, of the of the course. I'm very excited to get started. Now, the it started on the 6th of February. The first week was Kyla Givehand. Um, one of the things that she specialises in is bookmaking and she did her class, her first class anyway, I don't know if she's doing another one, was making your own art journal. I'd already done a bit bit of bookbinding only a couple of weeks before and I thought I don't I don't think I really feel like doing that again. Um one of the things and one of the reasons it's called badass is what Tiara says is do it your way, you know. If you don't like something in a particular lesson, ignore it. Do your own thing with it. If you want to mash two lessons together, do it. It's yours. Be a badass. <laughs> do it your way and enjoy it. And um, so I decided to skip that, although the method looked brilliant and I still enjoyed watching the class. Um, but I have got a very special journal that I wanted to work in, which I will show you in a minute. So I didn't worry about that one. So the first class for me was this week, and each teacher in between. In between the, the classes is giving a quote I think it comes out on the Thursday the main class comes out on the Monday and then on the Thursday you get this quote for the weekend so it's something to work on over the weekend if you want a bit of extra inspiration so this is the first one for me and this was Tiara's own lesson goddess so she's calling it goddess this this class and um, I'm not gonna show you my whole process because it's not my process to share although I will definitely do my own thing I won't completely follow Tiara's um, process anyway but it was very inspiring and I would definitely be taking a lot from it I just want to give it my own spin a bit so yeah I'll just give you a little I'll just show you little snippets of it it'll be a pretty quick video and then I'll show you at the end how it turned out so this came from my very dear friend Gabby Gabby Chic Dolls I'll leave it I'll leave a link to her channel as well she's got lots of really inspiring stuff on her channel Gabby uh, sent me this beautiful journal um, and with some other goodies as well this I am um, it comes in a box like this which I'm going to put to one side now funny enough we got a, a miniature version of this in this month's in the January schooler box so uh, but look it's a concertina one so you've got all of the I can't see it's not something like 38 surfaces all together or something so you can go on you can go through like this and just do them to normal pages or you could carry across and do double triple quadruple spreads if you wanted to um, and of course you can work on the other side all the way through as well and it's really nice to display because you can sort of open it out like this um, and I might because I like doing it do some cutouts and peek throughs and things as well so I've been saving this for 
um, badass. Let me get this the right way around to start. Off. Let's do that. I think this is C white. Does it say on here anywhere? It said on the outside, but I don't think it's got it. They don't sort of print their logo on anywhere by the look of it, which is nice actually. <laughs> so of course you've got two thicknesses with each um, page. I'm going to maybe leave this first kind of double spread because I might do like an intro page for it and I'm not going to decorate the outside until I've done the whole course and filled the journal and then I'll do it. The materials I've got together, um, Tiara uses I mostly like craft acrylic paints like this. I have got a lot of these golden paints that really need using up because they're near the end and they're going to get dried up and be wasted so I'm going to use the ones that I've got but I wanted this particular colour and I've only got that in a this craft paint oh, yeah, there is enough left i'm kind of white i'm going to need um i've got a couple of things i might want to stamp with later on i've got these brushes for paint and this one which i've mistreated to the point where it's all stiff in the middle so i'm going to use that for my matte medium which is here and i'm going to be using that to apply my napkin so i've got to decide about the napkin this one's very like the one that Tiara uses and I love it but for some reason the one that's calling to me is this I love these and I've hardly used them at teacups <laughs> they might come into my um my Alice collaboration piece at some point I don't know so I think because I've got this partly already partly torn one I think I'm going to use this um and I've taken my colours to kind of coordinate with the with the napkin and as well as a brush I've also got this sprayer to apply the background with so I'm ready to go now before I get started I'm not going to leave this to the end because if I leave it to the end I will forget this is just a little reminder so it's the 19th today this will probably go out tomorrow on the 20th of February so it's that's still a couple of weeks so on the fourth Saturday the 4th of March I'm going to be doing another live stream a Saturday night in with Artie Fartiani <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a special because it's going to be um, celebrating my birthday which is just a couple of days after that so I'm going to be doing the I'm going to be doing some giveaways we've got three giveaways one of them has been very kindly donated by uh, Chris Lambert who's the founder of Scholar Box and the most exciting thing is that Chris has actually agreed to come on and do a short guest appearance so I'm really excited and quite um <laughs> quite nervous about that I think it'd be really fun to kind of meet him in person so um I'll put a link to the live stream um below you can you can go there now and click notify so it'll tell you when we go live um but it'll be 8 p.m to 10 p.m uk time so i'm hoping that will be not too late for people in australia and new zealand and not too early for people in the states and um and kind of not too bad for for those of us uh, in this part of the world you can enter the giveaways now on Instagram and Facebook. I will. You just need to go on the posts, which I will leave links to below. Just tag someone in the comments. Just tag a friend in the comments. That's all you need to do, and you'll be entered in the draw. You'll also be entered if you, um, if you come to the live stream, you can join in via the live chat. We'll tell you how to do that at the time. So that's it that's all i need to say for that and one other thing is don't forget we've got our inspired by collab going on at the moment so this time we're doing inspired by alice and you're all welcome to join in by creating something anything doesn't need to be a painting or drawing can be anything creative at all and uh, post it on instagram or facebook and use the hashtag inspired by art collab i will link all of this below if you use that hashtag then uh, we can make sure we we find you and uh, check out your creations and then you'll also be included in the roundup and the gallery video that I do a couple of weeks after. So the big reveal day is the 28th of February. We'll all put our videos and things up then, but you can uh, post your creations inspired by this theme anytime from, from now onwards. And I will keep looking for them for at least a couple of weeks afterwards. So that's it, enough waffle. Let's get on, let's get on with the arting. Okay, I'm going, I'm gonna go quiet now and I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch something and I will just show you a uh, brief kind of uh, snippets of the process. Okay, I've done my done my background now. It's a little bit damp still, but I think it's dry enough to work on. Um, 
good job I'm, I'm using up these paints now because they're definitely going there these will be going in the bin after this one but I think I can uh, sketch in my my lady now um my da I think she's gonna be a dancing queen not a goddess she's gonna be a dancing queen <laughs> Tiara used uh, a Stilo, Stabilo All pencil, which is kind of water soluble, um, black one. I thought I had a couple of those, but I can't find them. So I'm going to use this Inktense Black. Um, I think that'll do the job. Yeah, so I'm going to go with this. I'll maybe sketch it in this HB first. Okay, so I got carried away and did three girls, <laughs> dancing queens. I decided they're either bridesmaids or backing singers. Remains to be seen as yet. So now I'm going to give them all black dresses. Tiara did a black dress for her goddess. So um, I'm going to resist the urge to do um, bright colours for the dresses because I can use that for the hair and uh, flowers and things afterwards. So I'm going to stick with the black. Okay, I'm nearly there now. I'm just going to have a bit of a clean up and I'm going to get my paint pens out. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy where this is going and I've still got room to have some wordage there but I haven't quite decided what the word's going to be yet. Okay, I'm ready uh, to add some details with my paint pens now and I think I'm going to have a little bit of a think about the wordage and add that later but one other thing I do want to do is I've got these two <laughs> sort of novelty uh, word stamps. Um, this one's got a date and, and a word and this one's just got um, like little phrases and uh, I quite like I, I had these ages ago for scrapbooking and as you can see I've barely used them so this one's got things like 100% authentic, mine, exhibit A, approved, that kind of thing um, and this one's got you can have just the date but you can also have smashed I heart this uh, hot mess <laughs> so I'm going to start I'm going to stamp these somewhere on each page just to uh, apart from anything else it's nice to have the date of when you've done something isn't it have a bit of fun with my paint pens now and then I'm done I think the most likely wordage I'm going to do is sisters are doing it for themselves anybody's got any suggestions I'll either do it there or um, I could run words down here and the outside of them as well I quite like running words around an outline like scribbly, scribbly writing.
with that for now as I say I'll have a bit more of a think about the wordage but I'm really I'm really pleased with that and I'm probably gonna um, do black along the top and bottom but I might leave that until I've completed the journal and I could do it all in one go I think it might make more sense um, so I'm just gonna do my stamping so I've got the date February 19th 2023 and what's this one on 100% authentic so where shall I stamp it I think we'll go up there today is maybe I'll just do it up, up here okay that's it I'm done my first badass spread brilliant very happy with that um that's a good start and uh actually because i've left it all week to get around to it i've only got to um to wait until tomorrow for the next class to come out so thanks for joining me today hope you enjoyed that um don't forget 4th of march saturday 8 p.m to 10 p.m uk time live stream for my birthday go and enter the giveaways now and uh see if you come in a scroller box or one of my handmade journals and a uh, journal wraps sorry and um i'll put all the details for everything below and if you uh, fancy creating something inspired by alice do tag us inspired by art collab so that we can find find you and include you in the in the round up in the gallery at the end okay uh that's it i don't there's anything else i need to say thanks so much again and i'll see you again soon